Hello my stars and welcome back to another finger painting video. Today we're going to be painting a bird of paradise flower. These are the colors that you'll be needing. Blue, dark green, light green, orange, red, some yellow, some dark purple, some paper, and your fingers! All right, first thing I'm going to dip into this dark green and I'm going to work on painting the leaves of the bird of paradise because they have these big banana type leaves. So I wanna make sure that I get at least one in before I continue on with my flower. So a banana like leaf is usually just a big broad leaf. I think like to think of it like a seed pod. Okay, so we're one line has kind of a point and then we're just gonna kind of carry it down the other side. I'm gonna leave a little bit blank right there because this is going to be where our flower is, but just carry these into the center where our vein would run down because leaves have veins, plants have veins where they carry out the water and the chlorophyll. So we're going to just kind of put that in like so. And I'm gonna put another leaf right here. Maybe there's another one that's going to the side. Nice and big. Nice big fat leaves, fat broad leaves. So I'll carry this into the center. And I'm not going too per, super heavy, super, super heavy, because I wanna make sure that I can throw a little bit of highlight in there. I'm gonna use my light green and kinda just go on the edge and carry it in. I'm just thinking, what would, the, what would a banana leaf look like? Okay, sometimes it's helpful to look up different pictures, but this is a very popular, Bird of Paradise is a very popular house plant now. Um, it's also very popular in gardens. If you live in the southern states of the US or if you live in another place that has more tropical climates, they originated actually in South Africa and are featured on their 50 cent coin. So there we go. We've got a little bit of variation because I have a little bit more of the highlight on this side. It's going to make that leaf look just a little bit more three dimensional. Okay. And now I'm going to jump in and actually do our bird of paradise flower cleaning off my finger. I'm gonna make sure, ah, uh, yeah. Cleaning off my finger, I'm going to go in with the red. Now you wouldn't necessarily think of this being a color in the flower, but it is. I'm gonna do a little bit of red and just go lightly, just drag it, kinda like a big upside down check mark and then I'm gonna take it down just a little bit. So like a big upside down check mark or a big upside down Nike swirl, that is going to be the base of our flower. Okay, so I like to do the thing that goes the furthest away and then work my way towards the viewer or whoever's looking at the painting. I'm actually going to go in with this green now and just kind of do what would be a stem. Just carry it up into that red. Throw a little bit of the highlight color, our light green. Like so. Okay, and now I'm gonna clean off my finger again. And I'm gonna go in with the yellow. Now this is a slightly unusual color choice, but when you look at Birds of Paradise, they're usually very light colored right in the center. So I wanna make sure that I get that brightness, that lightness um, before we delve into the other colors. So I'm going in with the yellow, okay. 
And then we're gonna work on building our bird. Our bird! So going in with the orange. Our bird is orange, birds of paradise. Now there are different types of bird of paradise flowers. In fact, uh, the biggest one is like, what is it, 10 meters tall, 32 feet, three story house, crazy tall. Uh, but we're just doing a regular, like lawn ornamental bird of paradise flower. So I'm gonna put a dot there. Okay, I'm gonna start with a dot and then I'm gonna pull out to the side and try to make a point or something that looks kind of like a point and then we're gonna go down and kind of do the same thing. And I'm gonna put another dot and I'm gonna just try the same thing. Go out, okay, and then carry it in. Dot, out, in. Let's try one right there, okay? Went pull out, pull in. Now we can actually make the center just a little thicker because Birds of Paradise have very thick kind of centers that go out into very, it's like, almost like diamond shapes. If you think about diamond shapes, you're kind of making something similar to that. I'm gonna leave a little gap in between those two and I'm gonna just make a big orange dot here and pull that out Oop. and then pull in. Big old dot, pull out, pull in. And I'm just going to mix a few different ones here and there just to give it that, that look. Usually there's one that's nice and big and fat over here as well. So we'll do one more, one more. So pull just a line. I think it's important to also think about how when you're painting, when you're finger painting like this, what it looks like in your mind, because maybe that is a little bit different than how it actually looks like in real life. And that's okay, that's important. It's important to use your creative freedom. Okay, so there we go. We've kind of got that bird of paradise look going on. And now I'm gonna dip into the blue. And this is going to be our little bird shooting out, because I like to think of bird of paradise flowers kind of like peacocks, kind of like peacocks. They've got just a latitude. So I'm gonna do one straight line out like that. And then it's kind of like an arrow. So I'm gonna go pointy like so. And I'm gonna do one more that's going to go straight up this way. So, whoop. And it's pointy. Like that, just like so. All right, I'm gonna fill in. This is where my leaf would be. But now that I have that color in our orange, I can go in and add some green as I see fit. Okay, and now I just gotta do the bottom. So I'm gonna clean off my finger. Okay, clean it off really well. And now I'm gonna dip into our purple. And I'm going to take big thumb or big fingerprint like that. And then I'm just going to carry this over to this side. Okay, and then I'm going to carry it over to the other side. Kind of like a big old triangle or an upside down smile. And I can throw a little bit of my blue in. Just kind of mix that up a little bit. Give it a little bit of character. Uh, 
And this is the fun thing about working with paint, is you can always just add as you see fit. So I'm just throwing a little bit of color in here and there, because I just want some of the different colors to pop, like the, the yellow. And I think, I think that we have a bird of paradise there. I think it kind of looks like a bird of paradise. Let me throw a little bit more yellow in here. Just throw a little bit of character on these orange leaves. These orange petals. Go back over with the orange. If it gets a little extra, okay. Ta-da! There you have it. There is my how to paint a bird of paradise flower. What do you guys think? Did you guys make your own bird of paradise flower? Be sure to hashtag it finger painting star on Instagram so that I can see it and you can be featured as our artist of the week. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with us today and painting with me. It was a lot of fun. Sending you guys love until next time.